W can be taken as an advertised distance if it is feasible distance means so R2 to R3 plus R3 to switch 1. So this is an advertised distance and feasible distance of 200.200.200.0 slash 24. So how to router wants to learn 200.200.200.0 slash 24. So R2 to R3 the metric value is 200 and R3 to switch 1 the metric value is 50. So the advertised distance means just R3 to switch 1 what is the metric value 50. So the R3 router can advertise to R2 that uh, switch 1 that is 200.200.200.0 slash 24 network can be reached through metric value of 50 next one feasible distance means the cost of your network the cost of our network is 200 plus destination network is r3 to switch 1 50 so 200 plus 50 250 so the advertised distance is 50 and feasible distance is 250 so next one successor so successor and feasible successor so if it is a successor means that should be a primary route primary route means best path if it is a feasible successor means that should be a backup route backup route means second best path okay so this is an example topology let's we can see so r2 router so r2 router r3 router and r4 router so now r2 router wants to learn 200.200.200.0 slash 24 so r2 router wants to learn 200.200.200.0 slash 24 so what are the possible way to reach 200.200.200.0 network so there are two possible ways are there what are the way r2 to r3 and r3 to switch one so the another way is r2 to r4 r4 to switch one so the two way is there to reach 200.200.200.0 slash 24 so what is the metric value for r2 to r3 200 next what is the metric value for r3 to switch one metric value is 50 so then r2 to r4 the metric value is 150 and r4 to switch one the metric value is 150 so first we have to find out advertised distance and feasible distance for one way and again we have to find out the advertised distance and feasible distance for another way so first we have to take an r2 to r3 this way so the advertised distance means so just 50 that means r3 router can reach 200.200.200.0 slash 24 network through the metric value of 50 so the r3 router advertised is metric value is 50 so i can reach 200.200.200.0 slash 24 network through the metric value of 50 so the advertised distance should be in 50 so what is the feasible distance so r2 router to r3 router the metric value is 200 plus r3 router to switch one the metric value is 50 so 200 plus 50 to 50 next one so r2 to r3 we have to find out the advertised distance as well as feasible distance now we want to find out the advertised distance and feasible distance for r2 to r4 wave so okay so what is the advertised distance for r4 to switch one 150 so the advertised distance is 150 so r4 router can advertise the metric value of 150 that means i can reach 200.200.200.0 slash 24 network through 150 so the advertised distance should be an 150 so what is the feasible distance so feasible distance means r2 to r4 the metric value is 150 plus r4 to switch one the metric value is 150 so the totally the feasible distance is 300 so now we have to find out the both advertised distance and feasible distance for two way r2 to r3 as well as r2 to r4 let's we can compare which feasible distance should be a minimum just we have to consider feasible distance which one is minimum so r2 to r3 is the feasible distance is 250 and r2 to r4 the feasible distance is 300 so which one is minimum so r2 to r3 is a minimum so this should be a best path if it is best path means it should be a successor if it is second best path means it should be a feasible successor so 
just to consider the feasible distance which one is the minimum value that should be a successor if it is successor means that should be a best path it should be presented in the routing table so the second best path should be a feasible successor so feasible successor means it should be presented in the topology table so that should be an one condition we have to remember to be considered as a feasible successor to be considered as a feasible successor the advertised distance must be less than the feasible distance of the successor so successor is an best path and feasible successor is a second best path so successor have advertised distance as well as feasible distance feasible successor also have advertised distance and feasible successor so if it is a feasible successor means that there should be one condition what condition means so in the feasible successor have advertised distance so that should be minimum it should be an less than then successor feasible distance here we can see this way should be a feasible successor so in feasible successor the what is that condition so the advertised distance must be less than the feasible distance so the advertised distance should be an 150 so in successor what is the feasible distance 250 so the 150 should be less than the feasible distance so it is an eligible for feasible successor so hat you route and pass you route so hat you route means it is an bad pass you route means it's an good so if you are giving show ip route so hat you route means everything is working fine sorry if it is an pass your route means everything is working fine if it is an at your route means 